Hi there guys, welcome back. So, as you may have seen in the last video, these onions need potting on and bringing into the grow space in the shed. So, we're going to do that today. So, I brought everything in here because, as you can see, it's cold and very wet out there. So I don't fancy going all that way to the polytunnel to repot the onions. I'll just do it in the shed. Right then, so I've got my mixing tray here. And this is a 10 litre bucket of spent compost from the raised ponces that you see we painted up a couple of videos ago and if you didn't see that video I'll pop a link to that in the bottom there somewhere or I'll put it on the end screen and if you haven't seen it I recommend going to give it a watch it's quite a good video it's had quite a few views right so this is all been saved no need for it to be saved at this stage but I saved it anyway get any bits out. I'm just going to be adding some vermiculite and this will just help hold water retention and help the plant uptake the nutrients a bit better because these soak up the water and hold on to it so it stops the plant drying out so quick. I'm also going to be adding some fish blood and bone to this. I'm just going to put a good scatter in. I tend not to measure, I just guess it by eye. Once you've done it a couple of times, you can roughly gauge how much you're going to need. And another thing I'm going to be adding is charge. And this is basically mealworm castings. And I'm just going to add a good handful, maybe two. To there. Um, because onions like a lot of nitrogen, I'm going to be adding some organic chicken video pellets. Now, I would usually add some perlite into this, but I don't have any at the moment and I didn't have any in the shop when I went the other week. So I'm going to have to order some online, I think. Give us all this really good mixing. And because this feels quite cold, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave it in there for a good half an hour. Just so it warms up a bit because that's quite cold and I don't want to shock the roots of the plants too much. 
So I'll just place this. Into the light. And on top of the heat mat. And I'll just leave that in there for half an hour. And then we'll get back to putting the onions on. Right then guys, so whilst that tray of compost is in there, get to temperature, I thought it'd be a good idea to soak a few more big onions and maybe my main crop onions. So I'll have a look in the seed box. Uh, these are brilliant little cases for storing the seeds. It's actually a photo album case. And you can pick these up on Amazon for about £25. I've got straight leeks and onions and all my leek and onion seeds are in here. So we can have a quick look, see which ones we're going to do. I've got an idea of the ones that I want to find. Right then, so we've got the Elsie and the Kelsey, which I've already got. Uh, some Medwins of Anglesey Large Expedition. Try a few of them. And some Medwins of Anglesey Red. These are from his own reselection. And I might do a few Elsie Craigs as the main crops. two trays here and this is again spent compost and it has all been served ready the labels ready just need to write on them and to do that I'm using a Milwaukee marker pen haven't tried these yet they said to be pretty good, so give them a go. Right, so first we'll do the LC. Right, so we'll start with the LC. I'm just going to make A little groove right down the down the tray, and drop the seeds. In there, uh, don't want to overdo it. Just don't want to have to prick out loads of seeds. Don't like throwing them away, so I end up trying to put them all on. And next is the Kelsey. These are from Foster's Seeds. Uh, they're the same ones that I grew last year, and they did really well for me last year. So fingers crossed. We either get the same results or better this year. So exactly the same, just gonna scatter them in evenly. Get that covered back up. And last but not least for this tray. The expedition from Medrins of Anglesey. 
It's only about 20 minutes away from me. So that's that tray done. Next, we'll do the medrins of Anglesey again, and these are own reselection of the red onion. It looks good in the pictures, so. Don't think I've ever seen blue onion seeds before. This could be interesting. Right, I'm going to do two rows of these. At least you can see the seeds when you put them in with these. The black ones you've got no hope. I'm going to put a few more in these than what I have the others. Just because these are the only reds that I'm doing this year. Or next year should I say. And if there's enough, I'm going to try and do two rows of the Elsa Craig. I'll just do one row of the Elsa Craig. There's only enough to do one row anyway. Yeah, that's the Milwaukee marker pen. Writes nicely. Could understand my handwriting. But we'll find out how it weathers and how it lasts over the growing season. Because it's hard to find good marker pen that doesn't wear off. Right, and so that's two trays of onions. So now I put these on top of the fish tank in the kitchen until they're ready to be pricked out and prick them out into individual pots and keep potting them on until they're ready to go out. Right then guys, so it's been about an hour since I put this in here and it's nowhere near as cold as what it was. A lot, lot better than what it was, so it should be okay to use it now. So get the camera set back up and carry on putting these on. Right then guys, so sorry about that, couldn't help but notice there was a very annoying glare coming off the light on the camera, so I put the curtain up and let's get ready to 
pop these onions on. Right, so I'm going to be using one litre round pots and I'm just going to get the roots of dusting of mycorrhizal fungi this is Vitax Q4 and it just helps promote root growth and helps the plant get established well better just going to start put a couple of handfuls in One of the piece of glazed brook ones first. These are coming along really well now. And they were sown on the 10th of October. And so far they've grown pretty well. Just put that leaf off there. Give these a good sprinkling of the mycorrhizal fungi. And just carefully push down back to the soil so there's no air pockets in there and to support them I'm just going to be using these uh, onion clips and some green cane just put that in there and these just clip onto the cane Round the onion and clip onto the cane that way. And that should just help support the support him and keep it upright. And that's one done. Next we got one of the LCs. And again, growing really well. Very happy with these this year. So just do exactly the same. A couple of handfuls in the pot first. Loosen up the roots a little bit. And give them a good dusting. And these small clips, uh, I got these online. I think it was about eight pound for. There's two hundred of them in there. Um, they're reusable. And they seem like pretty good quality, so. Again, it's the first time using these, so time will tell. And that's another one done. Right, so I'll get through the rest of these and get back to you then. And if you haven't already, guys, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It really helps out the channel. We're just over 600 now. It'd be nice to get to 650 by Christmas. Doesn't cost anything. And if 
you know anyone who's interested in gardening or enjoys gardening in any kind of way why not send them one of the videos and help get them out there there's always something new to learn and the more people we can get in the community the better And also guys, if you'd like to see how this is done properly, uh, head over to Rob's allotment channel. I was watching him put his on the other day. His are looking absolutely brilliant. And there's two things he can grow. It's onions and chilli peppers. So I'll pop the link to his channel in the description and I might even put his video on my end screen so please head on over to his channel and check that out that would be absolutely brilliant he's almost at a thousand subscribers now himself and he produces some brilliant content this time of year everything's in the attic He's got an allotment and a really nice garden, which grows flowers, veg, you name it, he can grow it. Right then guys, so that's all of them done. And whilst I was doing that, I got to thinking, I thought, I always water my plants from the bottom. And I don't really want this submerged in the water. So, so what I'm going to do is just put it under the tray. Push that, up. Push that under there. And I can just stay under the tray. That way when I water the plants. The mat isn't going to be submerged in the water and shouldn't cause any problems. Right, so all that's left to do is give these water in. pretty sure I've mentioned this before but I use the water from the big fish tank because it's at a nice temperature it's the fish poo contains nutrients which is good for the plants and it's only a very very small amount so it doesn't affect the feed that I've added into the soil too much When I clean my fish tank filters, that is the water that I will use to feed cactuses and the orchids, and that is the only sort of feed that they get, and they absolutely love it. So I'll continue doing that. So just let them soak that up. I've got a few more plants to bring into here so they'll help that as well. And that's how I repot my onions guys. So thanks for watching. Please remember to hit that subscribe button, leave a like, drop me a comment below. I'll do my best to get back to you all. And also please head on over to Rob's channel, check him out. He's got an absolutely brilliant channel like I was saying earlier. And I'll leave the link to that channel in the description of this video. So head on over and check them out. Bye for now.